Among alien species, humans are famous for preferring pacifism but being the most dangerous species when they are forced to fight. From the personal journal of Astro Chronicler Devarian, humans, reviled, worshipped, misunderstood, underestimated. I first encountered these curious beings some 100 standard years ago and have yet to fully understand all that makes them so damnably different from all the other galactic races. They follow the celestial standard being bipedal with large brains and being more or less symmetrical and possessing an organized community. Humans are curious nearly to a fault much like the Altar. They desire to understand the hows and whys of nearly everything they encounter that is different from their normal. Sometimes this backfires, but usually makes for exceptional leaps in technological advancement far in excess of their time past first star exploration. An anthropologically understood time standard, they are as advanced technologically at FSE 125 as other species are at FSEs upwards of 400. Humans have comparatively short lives but fast reproductive cycles. This has several effects on their psyche, I theorize. Their relative fast reproductive rate makes the loss of individuals easier to deal with, so their curious nature that at times gets them into trouble is buffered. They are, however, aware of their mortality, and so tend to be some of the more pacifistic beings in the galaxy. Fearing the loss of human lives, and by extension the lives of others, they live passionately, love completely, and trust unconditionally, usually. Their short lives means that oftentimes they live in the moment, but this more often than not means they respect life more than other long-lived races that sometimes take their incredibly long lives for granted. They have been known to broker deals between warring parties and fostering fledgling races when they are found, instead of pacifying them with violence. Yet to consider the humans to be pure pacifists, as the Aldery, would be a heinous mistake. Their relatively difficult evolution has carefully honed even the most average human into an organism capable of enduring and inflicting great violence. For the average galactic citizen when struck in the abdomen with a blaster bolt unprotected, the shock to the neurosystem is so severe that death is three to six seconds away. Humans have been known to survive for as long as 80 minutes, fighting with lethal ability for the first 14. They are rational and compassionate. But in a stressful situation, a strange evolutionary mechanism manifests, called the fight-or-flight condition. Humans possess a gland that, in times of extreme stress, excretes a combat drug. This drug dulls pain, slows blood loss, and allows for extreme physical performance. Last year, a settler on Innova G lifted a 1,000 kg shipping container that had fallen onto her child at their farmstead and rescued the child. They also have been noted to have an impressive ability to continue to fight after taking damage. Fighters in their combat sports often continue to mount effective defenses even after taking devastating strikes to their brain cases. Other fighters have been observed allowing an opponent to dislocate joints rather than forfeit the fight, often continuing to fight until the official stops the match. There are countless images in the medical files of humans impaled with objects that would have killed 87% of Galactic Council species. In Standard Calendar 8327, the Vol discovered the extreme of the humans' fighting capacity when they launched an offensive against 60% of the human-held worlds. The humans were only known to the Galactic Council for 12 standard years, and thought by all to be pacifists because of the several successful treaties they brokered in their earliest years. The Vol wanted the heavy metals known to exist in the human home solar system's asteroid belt and launched a campaign despite several rounds of negotiations. Ultimately, this was felt by the humans as a direct attack against the human home world and humans as a whole. Today, there is no Vol home world, and only 20% of the Vol continue to exist. The humans have a saying where they make an example of someone. The Vol is that someone. The Vol are currently the humans' most fervent allies. They learned the hard way about the humans' darker side. The humans are known as the best friend you could have, and the worst enemy. The Vol have seen both. I have been blessed to only have been their friend. 